Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this short video today, I'm going to show you something really cool. I'm going to show you how you can run Visual Studio Code in the form of code server on Google Colab or Kaggle Notebook or anywhere you want. So uh, today I was scrolling through Twitter, usual day, and um, some someone uh, wrote so Tanmay wrote like I should make a video on this and it would be very helpful. So this was a blog post, amitness.com. Just go check it out. And so I I thought I thought why I haven't done it yet. So I started doing it, but then I thought let's take it to the next level and do it a little bit better. So I created a Python class. So I call it collab code where you can specify your port and password and some other parameters some are not being used right now so when you have that what it does it installs code server on your machine which is your collab machine and uh, then it it starts a server using ngrock so what is ngrock i don't know i don't even know if i'm pronouncing it in the correct way so it's a cross-platform application that enables developers to expose a local development server to the internet with minimal effort so uh, we need a Python package by uh, ngrock and uh, wh what we do then is we start the server. So we start server, it gives us a URL and then it starts a, uh, then it starts the code server itself. So I took it to the next level and made it a little bit more better. So now what you can do is you can just do pip install uh, collab code. And it, it will take some time, it will install everything. So it takes a little bit of time, not, not a lot. Uh, okay, now it's connected. So now it should be faster. And then you do import collab code as cc, cc dot, or from, from collab code, import collab code. And here you can do collab code port equal to 10,000 and now it will start the server. So there are a few problems when you're using um, processes in the background, but that should be taken care of if you're using this Python package here. I will show you. So now it says that it is running this uh, code server and can be accessed on this URL. So let, let's go to that URL. It will open in a new tab and uh, here uh, will be my code server. So let's see if it if it shows up at all. Okay, so now here is my code server. Amazing, isn't it? So now I, I can go to the terminal and uh, here I have the terminal. Let me disable the dark theme on this and enable theme from here. So I can just select a theme and just so you can see it. So now I have the terminal and I, I love coding on code server I am, and all my videos I'm coding on code server. So it's quite cool. And I can, I can just do Python and I'm in the Python environment of Google collab. But what I also did was like, now you see it's still running. So your notebook is continuously running. So collab won't close it. And what I also did was to add a, password so you can add a password if you want so like password is abhishek here and uh, then when you uh, when you close it and when you click on this link uh, it will ask you for your password and after password you can you can enter the password then just refresh but but one one of the good things about this is you can also use it on kaggle notebooks with the competition data so if you have data of a competition just go and feel free to use this. So let me show you. So I will install it here. And I have uh, this thing with port 10,000, same thing. And uh, inter internet is on, so which is the requirement inter internet should be on. Um, and now it should give me something. So let's, let's wait a few seconds for it. Uh, okay, so now it has something and you can see this is still running and it will keep running. So which is good for us, then Kaggle is not going to close our notebooks. 
and sure you can access competition data if you want if there is a competition data you can access that uh or you have every you have everything else that you need so uh let's say let's say i open this folder and uh no let's leave let's not leave okay and let's open slash root and now let's try to code something in in this uh, environment in the Kaggle environment so you have you have all you can see all the files but we don't need that so test.py just trying to see if uh, we have uh, we, if we have a few things that we need so disable dark mode and let's enable dark mode from here because then it's much better and uh, import pandas as pd I'm just just trying to check uh, if like if all the packages are there and they should be no doubt about that and let's print something print high and now you want to run it and you can you can just go to the terminal open the terminal so here you have the terminal and you can see python test.py and it runs your code so you have all the libraries and everything installed so just go and use it and i've also open sourced it so go and have fun and if you have some uh, uh, if you want to make any changes if you have uh, feel free to submit any pull request if you want and let me know how this video was and if you uh, have any ideas for future let me know in comments and i will try to make a video on it thank you bye